I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a bonus question on system of equations. So let me write down a bonus question. It's really a very good question. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. The question here is line y equals to minus 2x plus 10 intersects the circle x square plus y square equals to 25. Find the points of intersections and verify that the perpendicular bisector of this chord passes through the center of the circle. So let me explain you the question first. So let's say this is the circle, right? And uh, with center at the origin and radius of 5, okay? So this is 5 for us, this is also 5. The line is minus 2x plus, plus 10. As you can see, it has slope of minus 2. And if I write y equals to 0, I get x intercept at 5. Okay. So, so I could say the line is kind of like this. Okay. That's the line. Now, if you notice, this line intersects circle at two points. Right. So that portion in between the two points where it intersects is called the chord. Now the question is, verify that the perpendicular bisector of this chord passes through the center. Now the perpendicular bisector of this chord will be what? To find that, you have to find the midpoint and we are saying it is going through this. So I hope now the question is absolutely clear, right? So let's see how to solve such a question. So let us uh, find these two points first. So we are given the equation uh, y equals to minus 2x plus 10. Let's call this as equation number 1 of the line. And then we have equation x squared plus y squared equals to 25. We'll call this as our equation number 2. We can always substitute the value of y in equation number 2, giving us x squared plus Instead of y, I'm substituting minus 2x plus 10 whole square. Let's bring 25 also to the left side. So we get minus 25 equals to 0. Now we'll expand it. So we get x squared plus, treat this as 10 minus 2x, correct? So, so you like a minus b whole square. So when you expand, you get square of the first term, which is 4x squared minus twice a b that means 40x and then square of the second term which is plus 100 and then we have minus 25 equals to 0. Now we can combine the like terms x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared we have minus 40x uh, that is plus 75 equals to 0. Well let's take 5 common factor x squared 8x 5 goes 1 times and then 25 means 5. Okay. This could be factored. 15 is 5 times 3. So I could write this as x minus 5 times x minus 3 equals to 0. And clearly x equals to 5 and x equals to 3 are the two values which will give it the solution, correct? So as expected, we did get one point as 5. The other point is at 3. X value. So if X is 3, we can find what Y is, right? So we know X equals to 3 and we know X equals to 5. Let's calculate. Y equals to minus 2X plus 10. So if I substitute 3 here, I get minus 2 times 3 plus 10 which is uh, minus 6 plus 10 or or 4 right so this point is 3 4 right the other point x equals to 5 y equals to minus 2 times 5 plus 10 is minus 10 plus 10 equals to 0 which is the x intercept so let's call these points as a and b so we have point a which is 3 4 and we also have point B, which is 5, 
0. Now let's find the midpoint. So midpoint, let's call this as M of AB. So we'll use the midpoint formula. Let's add x1, x2. So midpoint M will be x1 plus x2 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 divided by 2, correct? So add these two, which is 3 plus 5 divided by 2, and y will be 4 plus 0 divided by 2, which gives us uh, 8 divided by 2 is like 4, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the midpoint is 4, 2. This point, 4, 2. Uh, now we know midpoint. We need to find that we have to prove that the right bisector actually goes through the origin. So there are a couple of ways. What we can do is we can find the equation of right bisector. That's the best way. So now we'll do, we'll find equation of right bisector of AB, okay? So that means you, we need to find slope. So perpendicular slope will be, see the equation of the line, the equation of the line is given here. So perpendicular line slope will be how much? Negative reciprocal of minus 2, which is half. And the point is the midpoint, which is 4, 2. So the equation will be y equals to half x plus b. To find the value of b, I'll substitute 4 and 2. 4 for x, 2 for y. So we get 2 equals to half times 4 plus b and that is 2 equals to 2 plus b and that gives us b equals to 0. Since b is 0, the equation will be, since b is 0, y equals to half x. Now b is 0, that means y intercept is 0. So this line goes through the origin, correct? So on this equation, if x equals to 0, y equals to 0. So the bisector of the perpendicular bisector of the chord AB goes through the origin, correct? And that indicates that, you know, that this chord is true. The points, the points which we found are truly correct points. Is that okay? So let's read this question once again. It says, find the points of intersection and verify that the perpendicular bisector of this chord passes through the right to the center of the circle. So center of the circle is zero. Is that okay? So that is how it should be done. Okay? So let's write down our answer. So our answer is the points are 3 and 4 and uh, 5, 0. These are the points. And we have shown that the bisector, perpendicular bisector of the chord passes through origin since its equation is y equals to half x. Correct? So y equals to half x, where y intercept is 0. So I hope that explains how to solve such questions. Thank you and all the best.